Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Sushma Reddy. Today we shall see a video on how you can add a new user into Informatica MFT. Let's directly go to demo where I'll show you the steps on how you can add the new user. Uh, we shall be seeing two phases where I'll be adding uh, admin user as well as web users. In order to perform the administrative functions in MFT uh, file transfer, uh, you need to log in as an administrator user or an admin user who is a valid uh, user having a security officer role. So what is security officer role I, is a uh, user who has uh, all the permissions and privileges. So would you like to know what are permissions and privileges are they, uh, what all secu security officer is an admin user uh, with a role uh, allowed to create user groups assigning the rules and uh, other authorities is an security officer role. So you need to know if you want to create any new user or any uh, uh, group or assign them to any roles or delete any user management you would like to perform so make sure that you log into mft uh, console using an uh, user who has a security officer role so to add a new user you admin user you click on the users tab go to the admin users group by default uh, at the time of the installation of uh, M MFT administrator user will be created uh, who will be having all authorizations and all the functions in MFT click on add new admin user provide the username the username is case sensitive so uh, I'll be giving as admin description based on your requirement password uh, again username is case sensitive can contain uh, cannot exceed more than 20 characters so password is also case sensitive can contain both numbers and characters no special characters and can have up to 20 characters confirm the password email id so rules uh, you can provide the required roles uh, auditor dash manager file manager job manager so you want to know more on about this roles as i told you go to click on the users and admin roles will provide the information on what all these roles about what auditor does is an admin user with the role can access the audit logs a dash manager is to access the dash manager file manager is who can uh, manage uh, the files on Informatica MFT server which can be download, copy, delete, upload, uh, etc. So based on the requirement, please uh, choose the roles. Once you change the tab without saying uh, saving it goes back to the neutral so here I'll be choosing file manager role who will be having an access to the files assign groups uh, all in my uh, environment is who one who has all the role uh, all the permissions and privileges so I'll assign that if you don't want you can ignore on based on your requirement you can have it file manager settings uh, file manager settings uh, this is only applicable if the user has a file manager role uh, or else this will uh, be uh, providing the home directory or restricting to home directory file permissions this is only if you provide the user and file manager uh, role so what is uh, what is the home directory so this is the home directory for the admin user uh, when when you are launching a file manager so doc root slash user is the admin users default home directory located in the global home directory documents directory sorry
and restrict to home directory indicates that if the admin user is restricted to for the specified home directory or how they can have access to the entire file system when you when they're using the file managers so when you check in uh, the admin user will have access to the specified home directory and its subdirectories as well file permissions as the name says that whether the user can have read only permission on the files or both read write access after providing this click on save so this is how you can use an uh, add an admin user uh, once you log into administrator console if you want to change any uh, admin security settings go click on the users admin security settings so this will talk about the session timeout the maximum uh, number of seconds the session gets time the admin console account gets uh, uh, time dot by default it will be the 3000 uh, seconds that is 60 minutes uh, uh, or else uh, zero which can be like never get timed out allow browsers to save login credentials uh, by the i mean if you want to if you check in then it will be saving it allow uh, viewing the resource passwords uh, allow the session id in the url so Whichever is the requirement, you can uh, check in these options and click on save. So this will be applicable for all the admin users and this is not applicable for the web users. So what is web users? I'll be talking about in some time. Now, if uh, you ha also have a section of adding not only admin users, but also web users. So web users uh, are the accounts that can access the MFT for exchanging the files using the standard protocols. So when we say standard protocols, what are those protocols we can see here? So these are the standard protocols, HTTPS, FTP, FTPS, SFTP, AS2. These are the protocols which I was talking about. So to add a new web, web user, uh, click on the users. You have a section called web users. Add new web user. Provide the web user name. The, if the first name last name description organization email address and the phone number so web users are the users uh, who can be external for example your trading partners uh, or they can be internal to your company uh, they can be employees or any custom application uh, employees so you can provide their details over here authentication uh, this will be talking about the uh, what all process you need to you know uh, authenticate the users can uh, uh, adopt to so login method by default will be native uh, if you have any ldab or uh, uh, active directory configured you can provide the details for by default it will be native so password generation uh, generate a password based on the password policy if you have any i mean you can provide the password policy over here which I'll be showing it here or specify the password for well, the password password options so display the password on the page or uh, email the password uh, uh, allow the user to change the password force the password so you can provide uh, the uh, options required as per your organization or as per your policy so password expiration by default it should uh, uh, the there is a password policy provided over there. I'll be showing that again. And it can never pass expire or password expires after some time. What are the authentication types? So all the protocols are HTTPS, AS2, FTP, uh, FTPS, which is an explicit SSL, uh, SFTP. Everything requires the password. Uh, you can also authenticate using the certificates or either password or uh, certificate or both so choose the option as per uh, uh, your requirement 
so groups uh, by default I have also how again uh, you'll have an web user group is So this will be uh, the web user uh, group name, what protocols they can have, uh, can they access the shared drive. So if it is shared drive, whether they'll be having, they'll be a full user, licensed user or they can only view. Uh, disk space, is it limited? If it is limited, how much uh, MB or GB you'll be limiting, restricting them. Say so what secure folder, whether they can access the secure folders or not, uh, whether they can send the invitations, allow the users to change the password. These are the uh, general uh, categories to be uh, uh, provided for the web users. You can add the users here and uh, this is the folders which they can access. Is there any limited space provided? Yes or no? and uh, what are the general permissions you want the user to be done like download the file or upload the file or write subfolders can they create delete share so based on your requirement you can provide the uh, web user groups features again talks about the protocols uh, ex uh, implicitly uh, provided uh, in the group as well as uh, here also you can uh, uh, as users inherit the privileges from the groups if you want to restrict anything apart from this you can provide here folders again you can uh, provide the details IP filter IP filter can be used to indicate which IP address uh, are allowed to re or restricted when web user accounts connects to MFT both IPv4 and IPv6 address formats is supported so whether you want to enable it yes or no so uh, the filter type the black blacklist will deny any specified address uh, and permit all others so uh, and whitelist specifies that only permit the specified address and deny all others so choose accordingly and uh, you can set the permissions at the filter entry over here so list of ip addresses whatever you provided here will be uh, t uh, undertaken the action So this is how you can add a web user as well as admin user. Uh, again, web users can are managed only by admin users that has a web uh, user manager role. We would love to hear from you. You can provide your feedback in support videos at informatica.com, tweeters in twitter.com, info support. Uh, you can also provide your comment in youtube.com, user info support. Thank you.